Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News and today is all about Office 2013. As always, every Tuesday there's a new web uh, series or episode coming out to you guys and I would like to talk about inserting and also reviewing uh, comments. Now as you can see, I have this document open with two lines, real short and simple, but if you notice right here on the right hand side, I got this nice little bubble speech kind of thing that are normally used in comic books. Now if I highlight it, you get a nice little two tip saying click to see comments and on your left hand side you will see that something is highlighted which is video. If I click on it, you get a nice little dialog popping up that there was a comment made by whomever and how many minutes ago it was commented on. Now and underneath you get the nice little description that says this should be video. So basically it was a grammar error that I had. Okay. Now. Within the dialog box, you're able to also comment along to the comment. So if you click on this little arrow, this little button right here, you're able to even say, you know, continue the conversation between the documents. So I could be, okay, thank you for the heads up. Okay, awesome, and that's it. You can click anywhere to get out of it, but again. It's pretty cool. Now, if you want to, if you have several comments within a document, rather than clicking on these little bubbles, constantly viewing all of them, you could basically go into Insert, the Insert tab, and within the Insert tab, actually, you could go to the Review tab, and then Show All Comments, Show Comments, and then from here you would see everything. So, if you highlight the comment, it would basically tell you where it is. Now, if you want to insert a comment, let's say. Um, I want to change BJ Tech News. You highlight what you want to comment on, and then what you could do: go to Insert, go to Comments, and automatically will highlight it and put a comment right on the right-hand side. And it's like uh, this should be in blue color, and then you click away, and that's it. So another cool feature that Microsoft has embedded into the Office 2012 Word application is tracking and also reviewing uh, changes. Now in the past, remember when uh, you used to share documents and people used to want to uh, view or review track changes? You used to have a bunch of nonsense on the side and it was very confusing. Now, they actually created a new cool feature called Simple Markup. Now, I'm going to turn on the track changes. You basically click on it. As you can see, uh, track changes will highlight blue indicating that it's on. And I'm going to do all markups for now. Okay. And let's make some changes. Let's go uh, technology's power in the world. Now, as you can see, it highlights it in red, and it's a, basically a change that I made in the document. And if you highlight the, the change, it basically says that I changed it in such and such date at such and such time, and I inserted whatever. Now, if I go back into simple markup, simple markup basically allows the word to be there, you know, the changes to stay there, it won't highlight it, but there's a new cool new thing that Office did within simple markup. They added this nice little cool feature right here. As you can see, there's a red line. And if you highlight the line, it says click to show the track changes. Now, if you click on it, it basically shows you what's been changed, which is pretty cool. Rather than going back and forth or having all that clutter on the right-hand side of all the changes, you can basically turn it off and on with a single click. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, Tuesday's web episode. Uh, catch you guys on the next Tuesday with a new episode. Please Twitter it. Please Facebook it. Please like it. Please comment. And also don't forget to subscribe. And I catch you guys later. Peace out.